All right, welcome to our show this week. We're talking about our local racing scene, and I know uh, this gentleman here with me, Billy Moorhead from Snap On Tools, and also a local race promoter and active mm -hmm. motocrosser, uh, outdoorsman, jack of all trades, into a lot of stuff. Master of none, yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so some of the stuff we've been talking about, Patch has been uh, kind of dwelling in the community development aspects from expanding our scope of what we do, and uh, this gentleman is from Southern Rome County and adds to our local community development and uh, local economy and uh, with that the local racing scene for motorcycles I know that's something that uh, most people may not know about so fill us in a little bit about your endeavors local racing how'd you get started in it um, you know where it stems for you I know you race your mm -hmm. son races your daughter rides <coughs> talk a little bit about your history with racing well my history with racing uh, it started as a passion before I ever actually threw a leg over the bike because my mother wouldn't buy me a bike yeah, and, yeah. Uh, but as i got older in my adult life i bought a bike started going to races and um, and just enjoy it so much yeah. and there was an opportunity over in nicholas county uh, by the good evening ranch outside of Summersville that they needed a promoter and fortunately i was in a position to be able to take on that challenge and uh, last year was our first year and uh, it went well, and we're going to do it again this year. Yep, and we have a lot of people from Roan County that come to your races. Yes. Uh, that is the closest track to us here in, in uh, Roan County, uh, going up to Nicholas County. I know we have several tracks in other parts of West Virginia, uh, but being a local, promoting that and taking racers up there. I know my son Kale's raced at that track. Mm -hmm. uh, Austin Coon, a local pro, mm -hmm. raced up there. So, uh, of course, your two kids. Mm -hmm. So you got a pretty good crowd heading up that way uh, in, in the racing scene. Tell me a little bit about um, you know why you like that local racing scene and why you like being involved in it. Well, I like being involved in it because I've been to other tracks where you, you see things and you think, man, I, maybe I could do something different, maybe yeah. better. Um, we have a strict no alcohol policy right. and we try to keep uh, keep it a real family oriented yeah. atmosphere and that's that's what I noticed when I came up there family based you run it you run the show uh, you answer all the questions you take mm -hmm. care of any problems so mm -hmm. your family helps with it tell me a little bit about your family involvement I mean who all helps you out there well my wife Kelly she runs the concession stand and she has a um, a very good menu in my <laughs> opinion <laughs> she, I, when I was up there Kale ate great yeah <laughs> uh, I stayed pretty busy but he ate like a champ so yeah. yes and loved it yeah and uh, my mother-in-law helps uh, helps her in the concession stand and and our her uncle Terry Jett he works the front gate and yep. and uh, and we keep it close there's uh, another family uh, yep. from over in our way uh, the Drakes they mm -hmm. he's our finished uh, man flagman Randy and his wife Angie runs rider sign up and my sister-in-law's and rider sign up and yeah. it's just it's so, a big family affair. Yeah it's a big Roan County family uh, going yep. and doing racing. All right uh, talk a little bit about the local racers um, what you see and then maybe uh, you know uh, as a benefit for you I know your son races competitively at the national mm -hmm. level how does being involved locally help him out? Uh, it helps them out tremendously. Uh, there's no substitute for seat time. Yep. You know, kids have to be, you know, they can practice and work out and lift weights till the, you know, till the end of time. But until they actually get out there and compete, it's a totally different yep. ball game. And uh, there's a lot of talent uh, in Roan County. I yep. mean, we talked about Austin and you know his achievements. Uh, Kel's a very good rider. Um, the Simmons boys, I think, are very good. Yep. Yep. Um, we got a whole crew. We've had a lot of past riders. I know the Drake boys have raced out from that end of the mm -hmm. county, uh, Calvert. Uh, so we've had a lot of good racers come from here. Yes. A lot of them are going up there to ride and get that seat time and to practice. So, mm -hmm. uh, so that that's part of the aspect. You're providing a service, you know, to a lot of folks from Rome County. Mm -hmm. uh, tell me about your newest adventure. You're moving even closer. Uh, I was approached by the I-77 Raceway promoter Kenny Newhouse uh, last summer. You know, before our season even wound down, and he says, "Hey." Um, I really want to uh, to start a motocross track, you know, in the yeah. same area where they run the dirt cars. And I was very skeptical uh, until I went out there last fall, and he showed me his vision of where he wants to build the track and how he wants to build it, and and seeing the facility. It was the first time I was ever at I-77 Raceway. Right, right. Didn't know anything about it, and uh, 
And Kenny and I came to an agreement, and we're going to have motocross in Fair Plain, West Virginia, starting in June. And that's awesome. That you know, that's half hour from us. Yes. Here in Spencer, and uh, we have Patch over in Jackson County, so I, I'm familiar with the area and how people are, and uh, and that's going to be great. You okay. know, adding more to our economy, adding more activities that people can go and do. You know, it's a quick jump to Jackson County to mm -hmm. race. Uh, so that's fantastic. Uh, you know, and again, that's going to be a little bit of a different venue, some more ch different challenges. Yes. Uh, but I think it's a big credit to, and a testament to what you do. People like you promoting the races in Somersville, and I'm sure they'll like it in Ripley. Um, why is it important for you specifically, uh, your family, that you promote these races and provide this service in our community? Well, again, we, we want to promote a family atmosphere. We yeah. want, you know, I can remember growing up as a kid, um, there wasn't a whole lot of places to go. Yeah. You know, and um, that either didn't involve alcohol or you know yep. some sort of distraction that's maybe not appropriate for children and right. um, and racing is a popular sport even yep. for spectators oh yeah and i and think you you're you're right on the money there you can take your family and go watch a race for the entire day for mm -hmm. a small amount of money have great food at the concession have it run by a local family and, uh, and it's good clean wholesome fun mm -hmm. Okay, um, tell me a little bit about your dates for someone wondering where all this happens because I mean, we're coming into spring, the weather's still pretty little rough. Uh, you know, we, we've had a, actually a normal March uh, and, oh, yeah. and unfortunately in Summersville they're about 2,500 feet above sea level and there's currently six inches of snow on the ground. <laughs> hard and to motocross in the snow. Hard to motocross <laughs> in the snow, but we're, we're shooting for our first practice date April 7th and our first race date April 28th. and. Um, so people can expect uh, if they want to go to the Summersville track late April. Yeah. You know, if the weather yeah. straightens up, you know, you can be mm -hmm. up here racing late I April. I think late April is probably a guarantee. I don't know about the early April practice. We may have to move it to mid-April. Right. And then uh, talk a little bit about Jackson County. When do you expect to have that up and rolling? I know they're in the same boat. Uh, they're I mean, in the same some, boat. They're, 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 out there. Their test and tune is supposed to be for the dirt cars on uh, on the same weekend, yep, so uh, first April. weekend of April. Um, the big challenge that Kenny and I faced is we, we haven't been able to haul the first load of dirt yeah. to build the track. You can't really so haul still, mud that well. No, and you can't form it. And so yep. we got to get the track built. Um, yep. That's why I, I have yet to put a practice date on, uh, on the schedule. Right. I promise you we'll have the track built long before the first race and we'll right. get a practice in before that. Oh, and, yeah. and, that and that's logical. You know, you got to wait till you can actually make things happen before mm -hmm. they will happen. Weather plays a big factor. If uh, someone wants to get more information on this, how can they, how can they look up your Facebook page and kind of get information? You can go to uh, mountaineermxracing.com and our Facebook pages, we have two pages. We have a people page and we have a fan page. Both of them are labeled Mountaineer MX Park. Yep. Uh, like the fan page and send a friend request on uh, the people page. We'll accept it and uh, we'll keep you updated. All right, so you can go there and get all your updates, get all the dates for when the track's gonna open and the practice days, stay up to speed on it. All right, well, local businessmen providing activities here for our region and our area, uh, and good family activities. Uh, any last things you wanna add? Pretty much covered a lot of it. They're just waiting for yeah. the weather to break. Just waiting for the weather and... Uh, Come out and see some motocross. Uh, yes. Exciting stuff. Bikes jumping through there and having a good time. and. Uh, uh, and I think, yeah, real quick, let's show some pictures. If somebody didn't really know what motocross was, uh, let's throw up a picture. That's, uh, tell us about this one. Yeah, that's, that's our uh, track in Somersville. The, it's a very, very nice facility. I lease 105 acres up there. Uh, one lap at that track is one mile. Wow. And uh, so that's a put, pretty big facility. That's a uh, national caliber length track. Yeah, we have a 40-man gate. Um, you run four laps at that place and... and that's you, four you'll miles. Feel That's a it. long you'll, race. Yes. And then we have another picture, an action shot. Yeah, uh, this is our 250C class taken from last summer. And uh, that was probably our most competitive class we had last year in the big bikes. And uh, they're coming across uh, one of the tabletops. That's about a 50-footer at the top of the hill. And, uh, and you know, riders, I get a lot of good feedback that they like the track. The track flows. And, and, uh, and that's real important for, for motocross. Right. Okay, so you don't, if you don't know what motocross is or anything like that, again, uh, MountaineerMXRacing.com, uh, Mountaineer MX Racing on Facebook, Mountaineer MX, MX Park. Park on yeah. Facebook. Uh, so look it up, 
get an idea of what you're in for. Bring the family out. Come and enjoy a great day outside. Watch some exciting sports. Mm -hmm. I know uh, you know a lot of people like to do mud bogging in their trucks and ride their four wheelers and stuff. This is an extreme extension mm -hmm. of that. So exciting stuff. If you have any questions, track down Billy Moorhead. He's our local Snap-on Tool guy. Uh, and you can get more information, check it out on the web. All right, well, that's our show for this weekend. Billy, thanks for stopping by You're and welcome. telling us about it, and I'm sure we'll catch up with you uh, when the racing's going on mm -hmm. and get some updates. So we'll catch you next week, and we'll have some more exciting patch news.